Hi, welcome to the seventh unit of our Java Wizard Game course. In this unit, what we're going to be focused on is collision in our game. So if I go ahead and run the game right now, as you can see, we have this entire world that we can go through. But, you know, these blocks that we've created here, these game objects, aren't essentially doing anything for us. So why even have them in the game? So what I want to do is create a little collision system to where you can't pass through these blocks. You know, just so you can't pass it through here, you can't pass it through there. Um, very simple collision. I'm going to make it really simple today. Now, of course, you can go on to much more advanced uh, sort of collision systems where, you know, you can get it 100% pixel perfect and super smooth and everything like that. I'm not going to get into that. I just want to show you the basics of how collisions actually work. And actually, this system works very well. Um, so... The only thing you can get really better with is sometimes with this collision system, it sticks to the wall just a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to go ahead and go through, uh, you know, another 100 lines of code just to get it so that it doesn't stick, right? So let's go ahead and begin with that. So what I'm going to do is go into my wizard class here. And as you can see, we set our new rectangle bounds. So if you're not familiar with this, uh, essentially this is going to be like our, our mask for our character, right? So, you know, it starts at X, Y, which is the top left corner of our box, and then the width and the height of the box, which is the exact thing we set g.fillrec to. If we go into our block here, we return the new rectangle 32 by 32, because those are the dimensions of our block. So we're pretty much all set to go here. So what I'm going to do is in the uh, uh, tick method, I'm going to call a function or a method co called collision. And we'll go ahead and make that down here private void collision. All right. And here, what we're going to do is just run through a for loop and get all of our objects in the game like we normally have int i equals zero, i is less than handler dot object dot size i plus plus all right now we can say game object temp object equals handler dot object dot get i and now we can essentially just use it so we can say if temp object dot get id equals id dot block then we know we're, we're going to be colliding with a block here so all we have to do here is we're going to use the intersects method of uh, that Java creates. So if I go into paint real quick, essentially an intersects method where if you have two box boxes that are here uh, and they're like this, so let's say this is the this is the actual block and this is our player here. Uh, so if we're constantly checking for this intersecting method, it's actually going to show false that we're not intersecting, right? pretty simple so if we have our player like this um, all right and this is our player now it's actually going to show true because we are intersecting right in this region here all right so that's all the intersect method does so I'm going to say if get bounds dot intersects with our temp object that get bounds then we have a collision so again we can call this get bounds and because it returns a rectangle we can use rectangle uh, functions so the with the dot intersect function and if you ever want more information on that you can always take a look here if you hover over it, if you're in eclipse all right so now it's just essentially what do we do with our what do we do when we actually collide so here I'm going to say x plus equals our velocity x multiplied by negative 1, our y plus equals velocity y multiplied by negative 1, um, and I think that's it. I think that's all we need. So if we go ahead and run the game, as you can see we're moving around. If we try to go up, we can no longer pass through the block here try and get into the corner there we can't now as you can see it's not pixel perfect so if you actually want to play around with this method you definitely can but just like that we've made a really quick collision system
so now we can't get outside of our we it's impossible to get outside of our actual map all right so go ahead and play around and i'll see you guys in the next unit